And now for the next installment of our ongoing series on Kenya's standard gauge railway. And we're taking a look at the Chinese standards and technology used for the project. Caleb works as a tester on section two of the Mombasa Nairobi railway. His job is to test rebars and cement. So basically I had to change to adapt the new technology. For example, I can, I can use a different method in the Chinese standard, which can give me the same result if I use the British standard. But uh, to the advantage of using the Chinese standard, I came to realize some tests I can get their results very fast because of the method I have used. Caleb majored in highway testing and now works for the railway cement testing team. After the project helped local cement factories improve their formula, 90% of new cement passes his tests. Before I used to work with the, with the government uh, laboratories and uh, we used to use the British standard. But uh, when I joined the China Road and Bridges Corporation, I found that uh, they are using the Chinese standard. The new railway is Kenya's first 1.435 meter standard gauge railway. Before, the country's railways used British standards. However, the new Chinese standards are facing a series of challenges in Kenya, and many Kenyans are not even sure what is meant by Chinese standards. Li Chang and his team at the China Road and Bridge Corporation spent some time figuring out how to communicate Chinese standards to the locals. In order to help the Kenyans better understand Chinese railway standards and its quality, CRBC invited their Kenyan partners to China. As the Kenyans learned more about Chinese railroad technology, their worries were dispelled. AK Miner of the Kenya Railways Corporation believes that Kenyans have realized that Chinese construction uses high standards and is of high quality. Chinese railway standards are way advanced, more sophisticated than some of the standards that we, we found elsewhere. And this is based on the fact that uh, China has been able to develop its own standard gauge railway network, its own high-speed railway network in the last 30 to 40 years in a way that the rest of the world has not been able to. It took almost one year for the Chinese companies to introduce the Chinese standards into the SGR project. As the first big part of Africa's three major networks, the Mombasa Nairobi SGR also uses Chinese funds, technology, management and equipment, and has become a great example of China's going out policy in Africa.